Well, welcome Gemini to your super moon reading for July. This is quite a spectacular super moon. It's called a full buck super moon and it's going to be one of the most powerful and um, strong moon super moons that we have this year. It's called the full buck super moon. Can you see we've got the new moon in Capricorn here? It's called the full buck super moon because this, this is the, the period where, according to the old farmer's almanac, the uh, male deers um, ant antlers are in full growth. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all your oracle cards and then we're going to clarify it with tarot. If the messages that come through don't resonate, not to worry, Gemini. It just means that this is not meant to be your reading at this time. And you can go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs as they could have more relevant or pertinent information for you. So let me pull one more oracle here and off we can go. Okay, this looks very nice, very interesting. Okay, so the first card we get, which is very auspicious because we got the back here with his, uh, the new moon in Capricorn, and this is a full moon in Capricorn, but this is also very, very close to it. So I'm finding this a very, very auspicious for you because we've got the symbol of the, the back here. So let's see what this is, means your hard work is paying off. What does that refer to for our Geminis? Your hard work is paying off. That's a very positive sign, isn't it? So that all the hard work you've been putting in is going to start coming through over this period. So here, we, I like this. Gemini, I can tell you, whatever work you have put in before this full moon period, you're going to see a lovely a manifestation of this and especially got the fertility card here, but let me not jump around. Um, you're going to see a lovely manifestation of it. You know, we've got here, you know, we've got the crow, the owl, the bat, and we've got this little, um, like a little firefly here. It's like rep representing all, all, all the areas of nature. The king of swords is, as you can see, in, I love this card because he sits on top of the mountain because we know we, we can see that from here. And can you see how content he is it's like I've done what I've needed to do I'm in the place I need to be I've got everything around me that gives me wisdom and guidance I'm I'm completely in control of the situation this is really a period where I think you're going to kind of look back um, at the end of this full moon period and say wow okay it was worth it because whatever I've put into it I got out of it Okay, that's lovely. I, I think that's such a lovely confirmation that all this hard work that you've been doing and slogging and putting in the hours, it's going to come to, there's going to be fertility and you're going to be rewarded. And then you've got this lovely card, this new moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side. So on top of that, guys, Geminis, you've got luck. Luck is coming through for you. So let's see what this luck is referring to. Oh my goodness, guys, this is, oopsie, this is so, so nice. You've got money. You've got this, this hard work that you've been putting in, you're, it's going to, it's going to manifest. So you've got the hard work and you've got luck on your side, which is being clarified by Nine of Pentacles. And Nine of Pentacles is the card of financial success, financial abundance. She's got all the pentacles here. See, we've got the owl here again. You've been wise. You've been, um, you've been somebody who has not given up. You've kind of done the time, done the work, paid the school fees literally, okay? And figuratively, you just did everything you've needed to do. Whatever you had to learn, whatever you had to, to put in, you've done. And now you're going to reap the rewards. So there's luck involved but I can, and there's hard work. So you've been, you're being blessed on, on both sides. It's like, okay, Gemini's done the work, but you know what? We're going to throw in a little bit extra with this good luck coming in. So very, very nice. Then you've got this beautiful card of fertility, which is, comes after your hard work. After you've done all the sowing, now you do the reaping. This is what fertility is about. So let's see what this fertility is referring to in, your, in this reading for you, uh, Gemini. Let's see what fertility is referring to. Knight of Pentacles. Yep, it's telling you this is exactly what I just said. See what the Knight of Pentacles is saying? Everything you sowed previously 
in this before this period now the the thought the supermoon you are going to start feeling the energy at least two weeks before and two weeks after because it's such a strong powerful moon everything that you sowed before in the field that you did the work it's going to come you're going to start reaping the rewards it's been told us to us here and it's been told to us here you are going to reap the rewards of everything that you have been done so you've got all the hard work you've done pays off and then the universe just sprinkles in a touch of luck as well now what is this reconciliation about let's see what that's referring to because this all makes you know kind of it's all has one kind of message it's just letting us know everything with regards to all the hard work you've putting in in what area er, whatever area this is in your life gemini this could be in a relationship it could be at work a business family whatever it is take it as it resonates within your circumstance right let's see what this reconciliation is okay nine of cups guys i'm going to you know what i'll pull one more card so that maybe we can get a more another idea of if they're it's a particular person because whatever it is, it's very joyful. That I can tell you. Now, let's see what this Nine of Cups or this reconciliation is referring to for our Geminis. The Hierophant. Okay. Very nice. Guys, I can't tell you what or who this person is that you are reconciling with. Okay. It, it just. I want you. Well, I will explain to you the energy of it, and then maybe it'll make better sense to you. What it does tell me that it's going to be a very, very um, good, reconcil good reconciliation because we've got here the nine of cups. Nine of cups is wish fulfillment. So perhaps this is this could be like a friend that you lost touch with. Maybe it could be, of course, an ex, an ex romantic partner, um, anybody that you kind of obviously separated from but coming back together it tells me it's it's, all, it's a wish fulfillment it's very very good for you very auspicious for you and the hierophant comes in and tells me that it's absolutely your relationship will actually become better than it ever was before you actually take the, the relationship the friendship take it as it is the business whatever it is to a whole new level this reconciliation is an incredibly positive um thing coming in for you right i just want to make sure you can see everything now i just want to pull two more oracle cards for you so we can get some additional messages about this period okay we've got the koala spirit telling you spirit has a plan so this is lovely because like i said to you you know this you you've got the hard work paying off and then spirit comes in and then just kind of gives you this extra good luck there's a there's a plan here there's definitely a plan here and with the two owls here this wisdom coming through there's a plan spirits has got a plan trust it because it's looking fantastic let's pull one more oracle card from the angels for you i just like an angel card at this time because it's such a strong moon so let's see what the angels can share with us perfect timing oh my goodness guys this is a lovely lovely period for you gemini i think you're going to enjoy it this reconciliation comes in in perfect timing the super moon you'll see everything just flows it's like after you've done the hard work you've got that extra little gift from the universe this person comes back in whoever they are but everything just flows there's like a beautiful rhythm to the month so there you have it i hope you enjoyed it um, if you did, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it the thumbs up and I'm sending you lots of love.